Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to uh, show you how to use the uh, online registration system to make a registration for your iCar 2022's um, OSA registration or non OSA registration uh, process. So the first one, uh, you will see uh, a screen like looks like a less one, and you of course you can see the fees and um, important also information, and you can click register now. So when you are uh, registering, um, it uh, if you are choosing either IEEE Computer Society member, IEEE member, IEEE Life member, IEEE Student member, you will be asked to prove uh, your, your identity. Uh, so in this uh, demonstration, I will try to use non-member to do the registration. Please note that uh, if you are doing OSA registration, unless your paper is accepted by the doctor-student consulting, and uh, that is the only paper you have accepted by iCard. Otherwise, you cannot use, uh, you can only use member uh, registration, either uh, IEEE Computer Society member or IEEE member or non-member uh, registration option. If your paper, you, if you only have one paper that's belonging to Dr. Consulting, then you can use IEEE student member or a student non-member for your OSA registration. So this is a very important uh, restriction that you need to know. So now let me use non-member registra registration. So uh, I will need to type my name, my first name, last name, and my email address. I will try to use a fake email address for this uh, demonstration. Uh, in your case, if you are doing the uh, registration, please definitely use the email address that you can receive the confirmation and the receipt. So the, in the next uh, stage, you need to uh, check the IEEE policies. So please click on IEEE privacy policy and IEEE event terms and condition policy to making sure that you agree uh, accept them. So if you don't accept them, then you shouldn't um, register iCard conference. So right now, since I'm doing the demonstration, I need to check and check so I can I can do further. But uh, I would like to remind you once again, please click on the IEEE privacy policy and IEEE event terms and the conditions to read that and uh, making sure that you really can accept uh, those policies. If you don't, please do not uh, do further. So next. In the next stage, you need to uh, put your uh, register information. For example, I can put uh, my university name here, and my job title here. And uh, in, in any case, if you, you need a VAT identification number, uh, you want that to put into your invoice, please enter the VAT identification number. If you don't know what is VAT identification number, then usually you don't need. And uh, do you want the list registration information also CC to another email address like uh, your university's uh, handler or who is going to approve your registration fee and so on. So you can put a CC email address here. If you want, we can say abc at uh, ghi. So your primary address is, is what you want to see um, um, in, in the uh, in the uh, invoice, so perhaps I'll just uh, put the uh, mailing address. I will say uh, household number three name. Oh, okay. So basically. 
basically I perhaps I need uh, to put a street name here because uh, uh, there is a certain length for each of the figure and uh, the country you can put uh, your countries and uh, select uh, your country or regions name Canada Edmonton uh, Alberta and uh, And uh, your phone number. So let me just uh, invest again. Okay. Do you require the, an invoice with different billing information than above? So basically, uh, the invoice should uh, use this part of uh, uh, the information. But if you want to use others, for example, um, you may want to use. Uh, um, uh, other other information for your invoice. Like let's say, let's say, uh, we say I want to use uh, uh, another organization, or perhaps uh, uh, let's say, um, let's say uh, another name, another. Organization, maybe even another unit. So depending on you, remember that this this is what if you want an invoice with different bidding information than what you entered above. So in any case, another city, another country, so on. Okay, then next. In the next stage, you are going to uh, check if you have any special needs. Uh, so you can, if you have any special needs, you can click on here and then type your needs. I have a special need. Uh, that is XYZ. And then, uh, do you want to have a digital edition for Computing Age uh, ma magazine? Yes or no? This is free, so maybe yes. Uh, do you uh, want to consent to sharing your content information to, with the conference supporters so they can send you relevant offers that may be interested to you? Uh, I don't want something like this. The following questions are asked for your demographic by IEEE Computer Society, not by iCard, but by IEEE Computer Society. So they say, is this your first time to attending this conference? Yes or no? Uh, how did you hear about the event? Call for papers, I don't know, Carly, uh, social media, website, and others. So you can multiple choice. What is your main reason for registering? Uh, if you are doing also registration, you need to click on presenting. If you just want to, you are doing non also registration, then click on attending session or networking. What is your main reason? And then these are optional uh, things. So for example, what is the category best uh, describe your employment status? So you are uh, do working in private industry, nonprofit organization, self-employed, and so on. So I probably will select the educational institution. And what the best describe your job function? So there are a lot of job function you can choose. So chief engineering, engineer manager, and so on. So perhaps I would choose um, professor, instructor. And uh, um, remember, they are optional uh, field. So if you if you have any buying influence, you can choose one. I don't have, so I decided to not choose. What topic uh, you are mostly interested in learning? Um, artificial intelligence, maybe uh, IT security, maybe mobile computing, maybe also. So you can just uh, choose whatever you want. Age, that is uh, a secret. Prefer not to answer or something like that. So let me say, 
39 to 58. Do you identify yourself as a male, female, prefer not to answer or prefer to uh, self describe? So I triple E and I card and I triple E T C L T. Uh, we are keen to do uh, uh, making sure that uh, uh, EDI, equity, diversity, and inclusion will be heaven. So, uh, so if you want to self describe your uh, your identity, you can write it here. So right now I simply choose male and the next. Now, because I am a non-member, so I have uh, several options right here uh, before the early bird deadline. So also registration, remember if you are doing also registration, you can only choose also registration. If you are doing non also registration, then you can choose non also registration. So let's say we are doing our also registration. So remember, when you see something, you need to select, uh, making sure that the list becomes selected button. So next one. Now. You have a paper, right? So which track your paper belongs to? Maybe track four. Um, the what your paper ID? Maybe one, two, three. Remember, this paper, this paper ID is your uh, submission ID in Easy Chair. And then, what is your paper title? My paper title. So I just put a, a, a random string for the paper title. Now, if you have a second paper, then you can uh, add one more paper with uh, a, a fee, but you cannot add a, the third paper. So if you have three papers, you need to, uh, to have two regist also registrations to cover. In any case, if you are uh, interested to know more, I would suggest that you to go to um, ICAR 2022 registration. Uh, you will be able to see uh, a lot of uh, scenario. So for example, if you have three author with one accepted paper, what you can do. If you have two authors with one accepted DC paper, what you can do, and so on. So let's say we have one more additional paper. Remember, when you uh, choose one additional paper, you are not selected it yet. You need to click on this select button to make it become orange selected. Now it is selected so you can say uh, this paper belongs to track 14 and the paper number is 234 and uh, this paper's uh, title. So remember it is it will be very very important to select if a list is not in orange, then you are not really add any additional paper yet. So there will be limited amount of additional welcome reception ticket, uh, as well as additional banquet ticket. So in any case, if you want to bring someone else, uh, like your family member or your uh, another uh, uh, friend, uh, then perhaps you may want to uh, choose to purchase one more welcome reception ticket so they can go to the welcome reception with you at day one. Usually will be in the evening of day one or uh, one more banquet ticket uh, for your family member or two. Maximum you can have three more banquet ticket which means your fa whole family, f four people, uh, you may join the banquet ticket, uh, banquet if you, you choose to purchase three additional banquet tickets. But uh, remember there is a limited number for the uh, extra welcome reception ticket and the banquet ticket. So just uh, in case you want to use, I don't want, so I put nothing here. And the next. 
So in the next page, you can see the registration summary. Everything I put is right here. And uh, you can also see this is, uh, do you require the invoice with different billing information and other things. So you can double check to see if you have your first paper, second paper, they are all here. And that is what the, your registration fee is, 645 and 180. So you can, uh, you can click next. So when you click on next, you will see your order summary. Here you will see there is a VAT, which in in Europe um, or, or in any country, they have some kind of a test. So like in Canada, we have so-called GST or PST. And in Europe, uh, we have a VAT. So, uh, so you probably will be surprised about the VAT uh, fee, but the, um, that is because the countries, they do have, uh, uh, as you can see, all the registration fee are not included in the VAT 90% in Romania. So the total payment will be fee plus VAT. So here you have a choice to click on credit card and then you can put your credit card information and then you can submit. And you should be able to see a confirmation page. Uh, on the other hand, uh, because right now I want to show you the confirmation page and the invoice page, so I need to choose wire transfer. So if you choose wire transfer, remember you need to uh, do the wire, tra wire transfer by yourself. Uh, go to the bank and then uh, sending your your um, your your registration fee to IEEE and uh, there is a 20 uh, US dollars processing fee for wire transfer payment. You are responsible for this uh, ad additional bank fee incurred uh, because uh, sometimes when you do the wire transfer, you transfer exactly send 1,001 uh, US dollar for your, your registration fee, but uh, at the end, IEEE only receive 995 or 90 uh, uh, US dollars because there will be additional bank fee happening in between the banks when you do the wire transfer. So, uh, so please uh, trying to trying to know uh, how much of the um, additional bank fee that you may need to pay for. On the other hand, you can use credit card that will be simpler and uh, easier. Okay, so um, so you can see the uh, wire transfer fee twenty dollars has already been added. So that is what you you are going to transfer for one thousand and one point seventy seventy five. On the other hand, if we choose credit card, then you will see the total number is only nine hundred and eighty one point seventy five. Okay, again, I, uh, because I want to show you the final confirmation page, so I use wire transfer first, so you can see the submit button here. Once I submit, you can see it's a thanks for me, but I haven't done yet because I haven't paid, right? So it will redirect you to this page. So you need to submit your payment. You can download your invoice or receipt. Remember, uh, if, if you are not paying yet, then uh, you will download the invoice. On the other hand, if you have already paid, then you will see a receipt. Uh, on the other hand, you probably wanted to use custom info invoice as I, I put the, the five different lines for the billing. So I will see different uh, kind of uh, uh, invoice so I can click uh, here to download uh, that. Okay, and you also can see your confirmation number. So please, uh, uh, please uh, uh, maybe put this into your, your note. In any case, if you want to talk to IEEE about your registration, uh, you need to use your confirmation number so we can find you. Okay, I hope uh, I hope this will be uh, uh, useful for all of you, and uh, I I'm I'm looking forward to see you in iCard. Thank you.